Well, howdy. Here's a here's another JBL 1500 sub sub 1500 uh, that came in for uh, a spider replacement. This one sat. Customer took this to another uh, repair shop here in Southern California uh, a couple of times. Actually, it was reconed under warranty apparently back in 06. And that's it right there. Uh, because they had a problem with the adhesive uh, permeating the spider. I've gone through this in a, in a couple of, uh, I don't know, another video. Uh, so the customer brought it to me, said, can I fix it? And I said, yeah, I think so. I think I know what's wrong with it. Well, it sat at the other place that took over after this place. Sat sat there for quite some time and they decided they couldn't fix it and uh, the first one that I did wasn't too terribly challenging to get the cone assembly demounted from the frame this one it, it took an hour <laughs> it was a challenge and uh so the first person that tried to get get it apart tore the surround right there. So I've patched it with some polyvinyl acetate, and uh, that should hold up reasonably well. But uh, since this one came in, I've subsequently had another one come in with the same problem. Make a long story short. Uh, there was a bulk purchase of these from uh, by Parts Express, and uh, a bunch of them started to fail, and it had the same failure mode, and that was a spider coming unglued. So, uh, like I said, it took me an hour to chisel away this surround, and now the next step is to clean up the frame, the surround landing. It's called the surround landing. Or suspension landing and it's called a landing I've already done the spider landing and uh, get it to work again now and unfortunately the previous shop cut the cut the dome off rather than slip a blade under it and try to chip away which I did with the previous one in the previous video but uh, I think I've got a suitable dome I can I can use that it'll work out okay but I'm gonna have to cut this off and and try to clean it up so anyway stay tuned well, there's a progress report on that sub 1500 that uh, someone couldn't fix that ended up it ended up making its way here for somebody to fix me got a new spider it's gonna get a dome if you recall in the previous installment, this is the glue that uh, the previous uh, repair person left behind and uh, didn't hand the, the dome back. So I rem removed it and then treated the cone with some uh, special adhesive called Elmer's Glue. To uh, fix that and then the next step is to install the dome as close as possible I'm gonna have to put a notch right there so it'll sit sit down and it'll fit inside of this uh, rib And then the glue line will go around it and marry it all together. All right. Oh, I didn't show you that it works. Well, let's try that. <laughs> oh, about a little over 10 volts of signal. That's at 80 hertz right now. 
go down to 20. Looking good. All right. Next step, install the dome. Call the customer to come pick it up. Okay, final chapter on this uh, sub, most recent sub-1500. Dome is on. Where are the uh, terminals? Hook that one up. Hook that one up. Oops. Can't see what I'm doing here. Looks good. Let's see where the free air resonance is living. Let me See where the minimum current draw is. Well, this is showing. My speed generator is kind of freaking out, but. Around 20 hertz. All right, so it should be 23 is actually spec. But if we back off the voltage, get it at 20 hertz. All righty. Oh yeah, let's uh, let's do something with this, shall we? We'll just remove that because it's no good. Right into the trash. All right, see you later.